Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So according to a new announcement by Microsoft in a tech community blog post, Microsoft is wanting Windows Update to take care of all your updates on Windows. So that would be app updates and Windows updates. Where Microsoft says it's introducing a unified future for app updates on Windows. So this is going to be an interesting one to watch. Now, according to Microsoft, updates across the Windows ecosystem can feel like a fragmented experience. So Microsoft says that to solve this, it's building a vision for a unified intelligent update orchestration platform capable of supporting any update. So that would be apps, drivers, etc. To be orchestrated alongside Windows updates. And they are calling this a Windows native update orchestration platform to support all updates on Windows. Now the reason for this is that Microsoft says that today, and I'm quoting, a line of business apps, Windows components, Visual Studio and other products are updated independently. There are costs to create, maintain and improve the update orchestration. And with dozens of apps using their own update mechanisms, it causes a fragmented experience and can raise costs, which can lead to CPU and bandwidth sparks when the device is in use, confusing or conflicting notification, missed compliance deadlines, and added support costs. Now, according to Microsoft, the orchestrator will coordinate across all onboarded products that are updated on Windows 11. More specifically, just to kind of break this down, app developers or those managing updates will need to register their software with the new orchestrator. And then as part of that, they will point the system to an executable that can scan for their app's new updates. Then they use APRs to tell the orchestrator about any available updates, including, including details like the update's name, version, what kind of package it is, and if a restart is needed, and any deadlines for managed devices. So that's just summing up how this is all going to work at the end of the day. Now, according to Microsoft and the announcement, which by the way will be linked in the description, the key benefits of onboarding are the following. I'm just going to run through these quickly. Eco-efficient scheduling, where updates are intelligently deferred based on user activity, system performance, connection to AC power, and so on. Simplified notification experience, where updates for apps will be able to use native Windows update notifications. App update history, the update history for apps can be viewed in settings, giving users a centralized location to see this information. Another benefit would be admin policy support for deadlines. The next one is streamlined troubleshooting where you can consult a single set of logs and diagnostic data for all updates. Another one would be support for common app packaging types, where the orchestrator will support M6, APPX, and apps with custom implementations such as Win32 apps, which I think is a nice move. And then the last one, automatic future enhancements, where products onboarded to the Windows Update Orchestrator will automatically get future improvements and capabilities. So that's a breakdown of the benefits according to Microsoft. Now this native update orchestration platform according to Microsoft is still very much in its early days and is still in private preview. So this isn't available as yet to the public. There's still quite a lot of work that has to be done on this and it's not even known if this is going to see the light of day. But nonetheless, just putting it out there and I'd like to know your thoughts in the comments. Do you think that having a central location for all your updates on Windows 11, so that would be drivers, apps, Windows updates, and so on, would be a good idea. Because Windows Update itself, just updating Windows, for a lot of users, at the best of times, does not perform as it should, as you may well know if you've watched this channel. So it's going to be interesting to see if and when this makes it to a stable release, or even sees the light of day, how Windows Update will handle all updates. So that's going to be a very interesting one to watch. But nonetheless, what do you think? Do you think this is a good move? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.